but with the knees wide apart, very wide so that we can already start to open the hips, yeah? Wide apart, big toes touch, slide one hand forward and then the other, bring your forehead down and relax. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose, close your mouth. Taking the breaths in as if you were breathing life, sipping life, drinking life. Let your head be lighter on your thoughts. And remember that meditation, whether we are practicing a mantra, a breathing exercise, or doing postures, vinyasas, any meditation is non-judgmental. So we're not judging whatever comes through our minds we simply do not fixate upon them we just let them come and go we just simply observers And slowly lift your head up, walk your hands back to you, closer towards you, bring your knees closer to each other, press into your hands, fingers, and press your toes under, lift your hips up into a downward facing dog, is, is the first downward facing dog of the day, so don't push yourself into it just making it like a more relaxing downward facing dog take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale it out through the mouth and let's take a walk to the front of the mat And slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae, into standing with the shoulders going back and down. We're going to do three shoulder, three rolls, rolls up and down to warm up the spine. So bring your chin down, bend the knees nice and soft. And begin to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Pull the navel in. Relax. Let's come up in 10 counts. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one head up and let's come down again bring your chin down roll down pull the navel in one two three four soften the knees five six seven eight nine and ten relax relax like a like a, you know like one of those dolls like a rag doll or whatever just relax your upper body head 
and again come up 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 last round bring your chin down and pull the nipple in nice and soft knees one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten relax and coming up for ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one very nice we're gonna stretch the sides of the body so bring your hands back behind your head or neck wherever they feel comfortable and we're going to inhale at the center and exhale to the side inhale center exhale other side back and forth not too deep inhale up exhale side pull the navel in going deeper down and lower Maybe even lower. Always stretching up, right? Always stretching up through the spine, lengthening, and then exhaling as you side. come back to the center now we're gonna stretch the right arm up on the inhale and exhale bringing the hand back to the head inhale left arm up side exhale inhale exhale inhale now you're gonna reach for something but not just with the hand with the whole diagonal line starting from your foot. Now we're gonna add the knee, so the right knee comes close to the chest on the exhale and down inhale exhale knee to chest left knee and down inhale here exhale knee to chest just like when we do when we do planks just like that exhale like it's reaching towards your elbow and now elbow to knee Pulling in. Squeeze it. And slowly come up. Inhale and exhale, arms by the side. Let's do shoulder rolls forward and then back. Exhale, forward inhale and back. Exhale, 
forward inhale and back exhale bring your feet closer to each other feet hip with distance apart we have three rounds of sun salutations three rounds nada más inhale reach your arms up exhale full inhale halfway look forward exhale step the feet back bring your knees down lower down the elbows exhale inhale upward exhale downward facing dog look forward step the right foot next to the right hand left foot next to the left hand squat down bring the palms together in front of the heart and on the inhale come all the way up and arms by the sides got it two more times those veces mas feet hip with distance apart inhale raise your arms up exhale fold inhale halfway exhale step the feet back knees down lower down chaturanga dandasana inhale upward exhale downward facing dog step the left foot next to the left hand right foot next to the right hand sit on your squat palms together inhale come up arms by the sides exhale feet keep with distance apart from each other one more time inhale stretch up exhale fold inhale halfway step the feet back lower down chaturanga inhale upward and exhale downward facing dog step the right foot forward left foot forward sit on your squat inhale come up and arms by the sides exhale okay now separate your feet wide apart wide apart turn the toes to the outside as outside as you can as far as you can and we're going to bring the hands over the hips and inhale here exhale as you squat down inhale up exhale down that's right inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale now we do the arms too search send the arms up on the inhale on the exhale arms by the sides inhale up exhale inhale exhale inhale one more exhale inhale up and arms by the sides exhale bring your feet closer to each other hip with distance apart from each other inhale raise your arms up and exhale fold forward step the feet back into plank plank yeah so in plank the hips are up pulling the navel in heels pressing back chest is a little bit uh, forward shoulders on top of the wrists and now bring your left foot forward next to the left hand and on the exhale bring the right foot forward sit in your malasana in your squat pose looks like this yes palms together just like that 
We're gonna go back and forth from here. Send the right foot back, left foot back, plank. Yeah? Now, right foot next to the right wrist, exhale. Left foot forward. Bala um, excuse me, malasana with M, malasana. Palms together, take a break, take a rest. Plant the palms down. Step the left foot back, right foot back, plank. Again, left foot forward, right foot forward. Sit in your squat, palms together. Palms down, left foot back, right foot back. Right foot forward, left foot forward, malasana, palms together, palms down, right foot back, left foot back, knees down, child's pose, relax. Take a deep breath in through your nose. it out through your mouth. Hmm. All right, come to all fours, hands and knees. Pull the navel in. And you're going to extend your right leg back. Right leg back left arm forward on the inhale on the exhale bring the left hand down and the knee down and again inhale left arm forward right leg back exhale hand down knee down again inhale stretch exhale hand knee down one more time, inhale, left arm, right leg, and exhale. Okay, now, me to elbow, inhale, left arm stretches, right leg back, exhale, knee and elbow touch. One, inhale, exhale, squeeze, two, inhale, squeeze, three, Inhale, squeeze, four. Inhale, squeeze, five. And release. Uh, circle your hips to one direction. Rinse it out. Since we use the right hand for support, our right arm, let's give it a little break. So, you're gonna plant your left hand down and your left foot goes to the outside of your mat, stay on your knee and the right leg stretches. So you're gonna see my back. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Anyways, Press the right foot down, inhale, lift your right arm up. Look up, side stretch on our left hand. Keep pressing through your right foot. Now make your left hand lighter because you're gonna lift the left arm up, yeah? On the inhale, you come up. Come up with the arms, yes. And then on the exhale, bring the right hand down, let it slide through your right leg, open, open it through your left side, stretching the left arm through your ear. That movement that we did, we're gonna do it again. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, lifting, right hand 
to right leg, let it slide. And again, back and forth. Inhaling, stretching up through the right arm. Exhale, coming up. Back and forth at your own pace. With the left hand down, stretching up through your right hand and feel free to lift your left knee up if you want to take it deeper. Hips up high. And then slowly bring your right hand down. Exhale, knees down. Child's pose. Now we're gonna let our left arm rest a little by bringing the right forearm down and keep your right knee down, stretch your left leg. So side plank on our forearms. So make sure you adjust your, your forearm if you need to making sure that your elbow is it's okay and safe. Very nice. So, from here, we're gonna lift the right knee up. If you wanna take it deeper. And on the exhale, we bring the hips down. On the inhale, up. Exhale, down. Hover. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale up, hold it, and exhale, release, bring both forearms down, for forearm plank, so keeping your forearms down, lift your hips up, Straighten through the legs, heels pressing back. If you want to take it a little bit further, left foot comes to the outside. On the inhale, exhale, bring it back. Inhale, right foot to the side, exhale, back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, inhale, left foot, exhale, inhale, right, exhale, last one, inhale, left, exhale, inhale, right, exhale, bring your, your pelvis down, come into a cobra, take a breath in, <sighs> into downward facing dog, press your palms, inhale upward, and exhale downward facing dog. Beautiful, bring your knees down, and just making sure that your shoulders are in one line with your wrist. Now we're gonna do the right arm forward, left leg back. Exhale, right hand down, left knee down. Same sides. Four more times, ready? Inhale, right arm, left leg up. Exhale. Inhale, pushing away with your left hand, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale, let's do one more, inhale, and exhale, now we do the elbow to knee, inhale, same leg, same arm, exhale, knee to elbow, four more times, inhale, three, excuse me, four, inhale, what, three, inhale, two, inhale, and one, exhale, bring the hand down, knee down, and take a child's pose, rest. Now we're gonna do side plank on the right hand, so our left arm can rest for a little bit. So modify side plank, right hand down. Keep your right knee down, just pivot your right foot so that it's facing the outside of your mat and the left leg stretches, just like that. Inhale, reach your left arm up. You can look up or down or horizontally. Taking a couple of breaths. Feeling that tingling sensation whenever, wherever you feel it at. All right, now make that right hand lighter because we're gonna come up. Remember, we're gonna come up on the inhale. Slowly, inhale, come up. Yes. And now we send the right arm up and over to the left side so we can stretch that right side left hand slides down we're gonna repeat that on the exhale we bring the hand down left arm up exhale i don't know if you're inhaling or exhaling it's as long as you keep it going I am inhaling when my right hand comes down and exhaling as I come up. But you can choose otherwise. Last one. And bring the hand down, left arm stretches up, hold it. You can take a, the full side plank variation if you want, extending your right leg. You guys love working on the core, don't you? Yes, most of you have requested core work. <laughs> And I don't blame you. I love core work too. <laughs> it's usually the weakest part, right? And really, it's the core that holds everything. Your arms, your legs. Slowly release. And bring your knees down. You can do child's pose or downward facing dog. just to breathe it out. Just to let go of that debris, wherever we accumulate it. Just letting it go. And then bring your knees down. Now we're gonna do forearm side plank on our left side so that our right arm can, can rest. So bring your left forearm down get situated and the left knee can go if you're gonna do the first variation with the knee down the foot comes to the outside of the mat extend your right leg or you want to do the full variation lift the, the hips up right arm up 
We wanna take it a little further. Let's bring the hip down on the exhale. Hover, and then inhale up. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, inhale up. Exhale, one more inhale. Hold, and exhale, bring your right forearm down for forearm plank. So make sure that you are with your toes, tipping your toes going forward. And you, you feel it so much more this way on your upper spine. Keep looking down, stay focused. Pull the navel in, contract, push away, push the fur away. And then if you wanna take it further, right foot to the side and then back down. Inhale, left foot, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, left foot, exhale. Inhale, right foot and exhale. Inhale, left foot and exhale. One more round, inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Forearm plank and cobra. Bring your pelvis down. Ooh, sometimes that's all we need to make our core burn like fire. So some of you are also interested in doing studying the chakras. Of course, we can go in another class in depth. Like just dedicate one whole class in each chakra. But just so you know, the core is usually related to the third chakra. Yellow color, like the gold. The sound is ram. It enhances vitality, energy, conviction, so that you can do what you came to do in life, to fulfill your dharma. Everybody has a dharma. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what it is, the third chakra. It's a, in the navel point. Okay, then slowly, let's come to upward facing dog. Press through your palms and exhale downward facing dog. Breathe it out. Right, slowly bring your knees down, cross your ankles behind you, sit back, send your legs forward, and then very slowly let's come down, very, very slowly, pulling the navel in, nice and controlled navel, and relax, now bring your knees to point the ceiling, Planting the feet down, pull the navel in, and let's do a variation here in our bridge. We keep the elbows down with the fingers facing up, palms facing each other like you're holding a crystal ball. And on the inhale, you lift the hips up. On the exhale, bring them back down, pull the navel in. And again, up and down and up, seven and down, six, up and down, five, inhale, 
exhale down, four, inhale, exhale down, three, inhale, exhale down, two, exhale down, and one, inhale, hold it, Stay contained in the space. And nice and slow release the pelvis down. Very nice. Now bring your right knee in to your chest, interlace the fingers, pull it in. Extend the left leg. Point the toes to the ceiling, squeeze, and just tuck the chin in, but keep pulling the knee to your chest, using your arm strength. And then slowly release, bring the right foot down, knee up. And the left knee comes in towards the chest, interlace your fingers, shoulders down and away from the ears. Now extend the right leg, toes pointing up and keep pulling in. So notice the different energy reactions here. You're pulling your left knee in but you're extending your right leg. And release, bring both knees in towards the chest. Rock from side to side. And then slowly release the legs down. We're just gonna do a a quick shavasana, not too long here, just so that you can rest and close your eyes. And even here, this is actually the place where it's easy to start overthinking again because we're not distracted by any of the exercises right whenever we do postures we can even fake right that we're meditating that we're just that we're just thinking on the postures where in fact when we do the postures we may be thinking on other things so Personally, I think that this posture here is way, way harder that, than any physical posture because this is where you're completely relaxed and usually is when the mind kicks in even more. So even here you are practicing meditation, staying focus and concentrate it in the now. You're completely unattached to the thoughts that come. Instead, you observe your thoughts from far away. And it's, you're indifferent whether they are good thoughts, bad thoughts, blah, 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 whatever. Whatever we think of our thoughts, right? Because we're practicing non-judgment in our thoughts. And you can 
concentrate on the words I am relaxing right now. relaxing right now. I'm in Shavasana. I can feel my shoulders drop down, getting closer and closer to the ground. I can feel my palms getting heavier and more relaxed. I can feel my feet totally relaxed. I'm not holding on to any physical part of the body. I am relaxing right now. I am breathing in and out through my nose. I can observe my breath slow down. And feel my face so soft and relaxed. I'm going to count to ten to relax even more. I will visualize each number in the forehead. One. I can see the number one. A beautiful bright one in the center of my forehead. Two, I can visualize the number two in my forehead. Three, I feel more and more relaxed. Four, I'm observing the number four dissolve in my forehead, dissolve in my entire body, relaxing me even more. Five, so very deeply relaxed. Five, let my Body sink deeper down and down. Six, the number six comes in through the forehead. And I feel so very relaxed as the number six dissolves completely over my body. Seven, seven like a beam of light. Number seven, eight, a beautiful, perfect eight with its beautiful lips of infinity allow me to relax even more. Nine, beautiful nine. So deeply relaxed. Ten. Number ten. We have arrived to number ten. 
I can feel my body so very deeply relaxed. And then slowly beginning to move your toes, fingers, feet, and hands. Bring your knees in towards your chest. And maybe circle to the right, to the left, side to side. Roll over to your right side. And then slowly, with the help of your left hand, come to sit it into Sukhasana. We all know what Sukhasana is, right? Sukhasana is a cross-legged position. or any, any comfortable sitting position that you prefer. I'm gonna explain to you the meditation that we will be practicing today, which is the curtain, curtain meditation. So connect your thumbs and index fingers together in Gia Mudra on top of your knees, close your eyes so that you can listen to the instructions. This meditation reduces Alzheimer and prevents Alzheimer and there have been a couple of studies and there is one right now that is studying the effects of how this meditation reduces the levels of Alzheimer or prevents Alzheimer. Anyways, it's not just that, the benefits are tremendous. You can also notice how after you practice this meditation, you come into a perfect emotional balance. Your concentration is improved. It's great for the balance of the hormones, the glandular system, the pineal and pituitary gland. If you want to read about it, just research curtain meditation is also known as the Satanasma meditation. It's a Kundalini Yoga meditation. So we're gonna start by tuning in, just like we do in any Kundalini class so that we can connect to the teachers that have existed and still exist and to connect with all of us that are practicing right now together in unison because we never practice alone right bring your palms together even though we are physically alone we are never alone It's a, communal practice, the practice of yoga. If you don't know the tuning in mantra, it's on Namo Gurudev Namo. Repeat that three times. Again, it's on Namo. Gurudev Namo. I bow to the teacher within. So, if you didn't get it, that's okay. Just listen to it. Palms together. And we're not singing. We're feeling the vibrations in the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale Om
your hands. So the mantra is Sa. When we say Sa, when we repeat Sa, we're going to connect the thumb and the index finger together. Yes? Connecting to the planet Jupiter. Yes? Connecting to the to the planet Jupiter gives us knowledge, yes, in both hands. That's when we say Sa, we connect thumb and index finger to the planet Jupiter. When we say Ta, Ta, así, like taco, <laughs> Ta, we're gonna connect the thumb and middle finger together middle finger together so this uh, is connecting to our planet saturn which gives us patience patience okay then we say na na is connecting the thumb and fourth finger yes na which is um, connecting to the sun, the sun for vitality, for energy. Then we say ma, like mama, ma, which by the way is a beautiful syllable to just meditate on ma, mama, ma. We connect the thumb and little finger together, which connects us to the planet Mercury for communication so that we can communicate effectively what we came to say to the world, yes? So let me repeat again. Sa, thumb and index fingers together. Ta, thumb and middle finger. Na, thumb and fourth finger. Ma, thumb and little finger, okay? So it, what this means is the cycle of life. When we say Sa, we're connecting to infinity, to the beginning of life. When we say Ta, is life, is existence. When we say Na, is death, change, transformation. And we, we do Ma, is that the cycle starts again, rebirth. Okay, we are gonna use three voices. The first voice we're gonna practice for one minute, our loud voice, which is just Satanama, Satanama. See how I'm changing the fingers? Satanama, yes, that's one minute. Then later we do another minute using our inner voice, our whisper voice, which means that we're longing to be loved. Yes? And we say, Satanama, Satanama. See? Still connecting the fingers. Satanama. That's one minute. Then we do two minutes of mentally repeating the mantra. So you're not gonna say anything out loud. You're gonna keep repeating it in your head the same way. You're still gonna be moving the fingers because you're still repeating mentally. Satanama. I don't know how your voice, inner voice sounds like, but you will definitely learn today, okay? Uh, let me see if I'm missing something. The, the first voice is the human voice. 
Um, the second voice is our, our what I say, uh, looking to be loved. And the third one, uh, the mentally, is our guidance voice. Yeah? <laughs> okay. I don't know if that makes sense. If you, even if I didn't explain all of this to you, I like to explain to you, even if I didn't and you practice the mantra, it's, you still feel the effects, okay? Another thing that is important, where is your focus? Your focus is very important because we are stimulating the, pi, the pituitary, ah, pit, the pineal and pituitary gland, okay? And the way we do that is when you say sa, for example, when you say sa, you imagine an L, an L shape that starts at the crown of your head, and projects outwards through your third eye. So it's an L that comes through your uh, the crown of the head and then out through the forehead. Yes, keep that motion as you repeat the syllables. Okay, sorry about that long introduction. Let's get started. So like I said, it's one minute with the first voice, one minute with the second, two minutes with the mental voice. Then we go back to one minute whisper and one minute loud. Okay, let me put my timer. All right, so let's get started. Let's situate our thumb with our index finger. Ready? Our loud voice. Satanama, 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 Satanama. Now use your mental voice, but keep repeating sa, ta, na, ma, mentally and keep moving the fingers and keep visualizing the L shape in your forehead.
went back to whisper voice. Sa -ta -na -ma. Sa -ta -na -ma. Sa stay here for about a minute to assimilate the effects of your practice say that this meditation gets rid of any subconscious trauma improves concentration reduces the effects of Alzheimer prevents Alzheimer's balances the glandular system improves memory gives a total balance in your mind and your emotional being this is the shortest practice it was six minutes but there are other times but if you are a beginner I recommend you you start with six minutes every day until you become used to it and you can increase the times okay bring your palms together since this little last bit of our practice was Kundalini we're going to end with a Long sa and a short nam, which means truth is my name. Always speaking with our truth, always bringing our truth forward. Bring your palms together in the center of the heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. On the next inhale, we begin a long sat and a short nam. Ready? Inhale. So.
thank you everybody i hope that you liked it if you have any questions please let me know practice 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 until you have conquered your mind thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos click like on the bell button to receive notifications when i upload a new video hit the like button share comment and keep on loving remember that the world opens when you are open